Alright, welcome to another M12 draft. Normally I would advocate uh, forcing green, but I did open a Frost Titan, which I'm obviously taking, and that's going to be... I mean, green-blue is good, fine even. Fright, Frost Titan fits right in there, but... Um, Jade Mage and Trollhide are like the next two best cards in this pack, which is very unfortunate. So I feel like... Unless things change drastically, trying to go for green might be a mistake. That said, Call to the Grave is kind of a beating. Is it better than all of these other cards? Yes, by far. Um, all I need to do is pick up, like, reassembling skeletons, or just not. And just, like, you just play this and... You know, into a full board, if you can survive, this is still beating. You get like a three for one, or at the very least, kill their best creature. Um, I mean, it's that, or Assault Griffin, or Divination to stay on color, I suppose. Rusted Sentinel to just pick up a dude, but Call to the Grave is more powerful than all those cards. And I do love me a Cudgel Troll. Hmm... But I could also just take a Child of Night. I mean, I've been passing good green cards. If I keep passing green, then I will put the person next to me into green. But Cudgel Troll is way better than Child of Night. Um... Yeah, I'm going to keep my options open. Child of Night is not that crucial. I'll, I'll grab a Cuddle Troll there. Because, like, mm, there's a Law Keeper and a Skywinder Drake and a Consume Spirit and an Arachnus Web. I feel like I should just take the Skywinder Drake. Uh, the Law Keeper is probably the best card in this pack. People seem to overrate this card. I don't think it's that good. Um, I tend to take the Arachnus Web. And cut green, but I'd much rather cut blue, so I'm going to take the Skywinder Drake. I mean, there's almost no question you play blue with your Frost Titan, I feel like. Um, and really, do I take Phantasmal Bear? Just not that exciting. Not with the Frost Titan Skywinder Mage plan. Ice Cage also s does not seem that good. Tormented Soul does not seem like the worst. Um... Get some bloodthirst guys. I don't know. Maybe it's Ice Cage. Maybe it's Bear. I don't know. Maybe Bear is good um, early protection to get out Frost Titan. I mean, I don't know. I've never tried Bear. We'll go with Bear. I think the unblockable ghoul might be the right pick there, though. Although there is another Skywinder Drake, so this aggressive blue deck could come together with Frost Titan as the game ender. It makes this Call to the Grave less exciting than the Cudgel Troll. Skywinder Drake. Yep. I mean, what am I taking? Bloodseeker Assault Griffin? This card's better than both of those cards, so yeah. Another Law Keeper? That's rough. There's also a Llanowar Elves, though, for my Frost Titan. I already passed one Law Keeper. I can pass another. And the Trollhide Wield? I mean, green is just always open. It's crazy. Yeah, I'll take the Trollhide. These are not bad cards that I'm picking up late here. Hmm. Naturalize is probably better than Lure, just in the abstract, considering the format overall. Especially in this deck. I think I'll take a Naturalize for the sideboard, obviously. Another Lure, but Amp and Cutthroat is pretty sweet, actually. As is Harbor Serpent. Yeah, this pack went alright. I think I'm basically in the right colors. I'll take that Artilus Elite. No reason to give away uh, good ways to kill my Phantasmal Bear. Slash good cards in general. Yeah, I mean, I would take this as the start to most, uh, pretty much every draft. I think this would, 
you'd win a fair number of drafts if you started this way. Um, I mean, Frost Titan is obviously a giant beating. And double Skywinder Drake, Llanowar Elves, Cudgel Troll. Make it Splash Black for Call of the Grave. It's not that good in this deck. Not unless I'm also splashing three reassembling skeletons, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, Lucky Charms. I read somebody's post on the internet saying they wish... Um, Wizards would replace this with one card where you, when it, when you play it, you pick a, a, a basic type, and it is one card that represents all of them, which I think is definitely a very good idea. And then I go ahead and open a Sphinx of Athun. Despite having other giant beatings... Yeah, that card seems pretty good. There's also a Stinger Fling Spider, which might actually be better. Especially if I take the Sphinx of Athun, somebody else is going to take the Spider. But I really think I need to protect blue more than green, although there's like three good blue spells in here. Hmm. Um, This is actually really close. I'm tempted to take the Stinger Fling Spider, because it's a relatively quick format I feel like that's right I feel like it has to be right this card is very good but it is also very large I'm gonna go with the stinger fling spider people may think that's incorrect and I would like to hear your argument um, Azure Mage seems pretty obvious on this one good defense against aggro Obviously a good top deck and just a good all-around spell. Um, could have a Child of the Night. Well, no. I have a Cudgel Troll. That's way better. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take this Azure Mage. I mean, there's a Pacifism, obviously. But, yeah. Hmm... Nothing jumps out at me here. I feel like it's the Ampin Cutthroat. It's that or another Harbor Serpent, which I don't think I need. Autumn's Veil, which is just a sideboard card. Frost Breath, which I think the Cutthroat is definitely better. Although, it may, I mean, it's not better in every deck, but it's definitely better in the kind of deck that I'm building here, which is a sort of mid range controlish deck. Um. I think it's between this and this, basically. And what am I going to take? Brink of Disaster, Naturalize. This is the card. Blue really wants a 2-4 four for 4. It's kind of awesome. Um, I don't... I have two drakes, I guess. I have a human and an elf and a bear... And a troll, and a salamander, and a spider, a serpent, and a giant. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think we'll just stick with the looter. I gotta say, it's it's not that like Greater Basilisk is a beating, but I think we can all agree looter is better. As is Carnage Worm, but I think Basilisk and looter are both better than Carnage Worm. I could have had a good white deck, I think, and definitely a good black deck, but um, Frost Titan makes it worth it. There's a Grave Digger, but I think I will go with my aforementioned uh, pump on this guy. I definitely um, seems like a sign talking about this guy's greatness, and then he comes up with a bunch of other questionable cards. I mean, Grave Digger, Splashing Call to the Grave is not out of the question. I definitely think, I mean, it's not terrible in this deck. It's certainly not its best in this deck, though. And I think I'd rather overall have this Basilisk than that Gravedigger, and rather just go blue-green than have to splash black. It'll take a Doomblade for me to splash black, I think. Despite having Call of the Grave, which I understand that's... Maybe, maybe, Call to the, maybe I'm underestimating Call of the Grave. I grant that as a possibility. 
I have two cutthroats and two drakes. That doesn't seem very good. Levitation in the green blue deck is not the absolute worst. Um, I could also take a negate, which is decent in main deck, good in the sideboard. I feel like in the green blue deck, though, levitation is the pick. When this card is good, it's very, very good. Hunter's Insight, huh? Hunter's Insight on Skywinder Drake is kind of awesome. I've always wanted to play with this card. I mean, maybe Harbor Serpent is the pick here, or even Visions from Beyond, although I doubt it. But I'm going to go ahead and take that Hunter's Insight. And yeah, we'll take a Garrick's Companion. Sure, this is getting pretty spicy. As usual, people don't give green nearly enough respect. The Tormented Soul came all the way around. Uh, I already have a Naturalize for the sideboard. Distress is really annoying. I think I'd rather play against Tormented Soul than against Distress. This card really annoys me. I don't think they should print that effect. It just makes people sad. Um, and I will, as much as I want to hate on that mind rot, I will take the negate for the sideboard. Rights of flourishing is something to consider there, but I didn't really consider it, so maybe that's wrong of me. Um, I think I'd rather have an autumn's veil over a fog, also sideboard, and carnage worm. Yeah, with levitation and. All this random nonsense. I mean, Titanic Growth is not really what this deck is looking for. It's looking for fatties. Um, so, yeah. Siege Mastodon is a playable. No reason to give a random playable to somebody who might end up with a slightly worse deck because of it. I mean, this deck looks awesome, I think. I would take this deck... I mean, I think you win a lot of drafts with this deck. The, I mean, the deck that this is going to be. We haven't even finished it yet. Aegis Angel. Yeah, that's... There's a definitely a good white deck going around. There's a Mana Leak, a Lurking Crocodile. I could splash for an Incinerate. I could splash for a Pacifism. Or I could just take a Crown of Empires. Crown of Empires seems okay in this deck. It's definitely among the weaker cards here, though. Might be better off just taking an Incinerate. I'm just going to take the Crown. At least it's playable. That was a little rough. Ooh, and then we get past Mind Control. Archivist, Ice Cage, Cancel, Harbor Serpent, Mesmerist, Mind Control, Consume Spirit, notably in the pack. Definitely created a good black deck somewhere. But somebody's created a good blue deck here. So I will take it. Ooh, Sacred Wolf. Hunter's Insight on Sacred Wolf is pretty safe. If you get in with it, obviously. Um, I have a Troll Hide. There's also Plummet, though. There's that Angel. 15 creatures. Hmm. Don't think I'm playing Call of the Grave. I don't know. That is tough. I feel I feel like with Troll Hide, I'd rather just have the Sacred Wolf. There's also a Ring Flesh, but I think I'd just prefer to stick to my colors. I might be able to pick up a Plummet elsewhere, although... Phew. Take the Looter or the Giant Spider. Given that I have two Amphin Cutthroats, I realize that this stops Flyers, but I also have a Levitation, so... There's also a third Drake? Hmm. I don't know. That's tough. This is not really an aggro deck. I think it would rather have a looter. Also, Drifting Shade. This These packs are nasty. This is going to be an intense battle to the top, I have a feeling. Ugh. Soren's Thirst. Stave Off. I have to take a Garrick's Companion. I mean, this is... I feel like this pack has been... Ugh. Now I wish I had not taken that looter, but instead I will just take this giant spider because I don't think I want a third looter over this giant spider. There's also a shock, which kind of bothers me, but giant spider's money. 
I really don't need this Vastfid Gorger. I'm not playing it. Pro I mean, I already have too many cards here. Um, I think I'm going to play that Levitation. Yeah, cutting a card is actually... I'll probably cut a Garrick Companion as it stands here. So with that said, I think I'd rather just take this Distress. Maybe I should take the Bang Chuckers. No, I want to protect my awesome Titan. Ooh, Llanowar Elves. Now, what do I cut? Yeah, that's definitely the pick over Manalith. And a Manalith. There's also a Plummet. I feel like Manalith has to be a little bit better than Plummet. There's also a Death Mark. That's not amazing against me, I guess. Take the Manalith. Maybe another Plummet will wheel. Uh, yeah, I'll take the second Harbor Serpent against a uh, blue deck. And naturalize. Come on, plummet. There's definitely one that could wheel. Take this Bloodseeker. It's not going to. People are hip to the plummet. Um, I guess I'll just take a forest for art value. And another forest for art value. And another forest for art value. I'm going to have all four forest pictures, I believe. Although, no, maybe only three. I think only three. I can live with that, though. So yeah, this deck is... I'm going to have a hard time cutting cards from this deck. Um, that's... well, that's one. Probably not two. Maybe it is. Um, hmm. I mean, Trollhide seems good in this deck. This is going to be tough. It might be Carnage Worm. I'm going to put that on the side for now. This is a fast format. Basilisk, Spider, Troll, Another Spider, Troll Hide, Sacred Wolf, Insight. Uh, one Companion is going to stay on... Ah, both Companions are going to stay on the sidelines for now. Both Llanowar Elves come in. Crown of Empires stays on the sidelines for now, even though that card is good. Oh, whoops. I'm not going to be splashing black today. Um, ooh, I guess I could cut the bear. This deck is not really looking to do that unless it plays against an aggro deck. So we'll play Looters, Azure Mage, maybe Negate, Mana Leak, Skywinder Drake, Two Cutthroats, Levitation, Mind Control, Frost Titan, and a Harbor Serpent? That's only 21. Okay, this isn't as going to be that hard. We get to find two cards. I'm pretty sure I'm playing 17 land. All right, what does this deck need? So, Mind Control counts as removal, basically, even though it is also creatures. Levitation, Hunter's Insight draws cards. Troll Hide is like, basically like Levitation. Mana Leak is like Mind Control. And the rest of these guys are creatures, even though Merfolk Looter is like Hunter's Insight, as is Azure Mage. Um, 16 creatures is a lot for a control deck, which I believe this is a control deck. I've got a big draw card spell. I can create a big fat guy that I can protect and grind them out with. Eventually I can levitation and just fly over for the win. Steal their big guy once they play it. I mean, it has aggro draws like Llanowar Elves, Skywinder Drake, Cudgel Troll... <laughs> you know, Greater Basilisk Frost Titan would be a giant beating. I mean, I could just see throwing two Eric's Companions in there and going aggro. The other option is to go more control and throw in, like, Crown of Empires and... See, if I don't play these, I don't have to play nearly as much green, though I want to play green for Llanowar Elves. Um, let's see, I have two six drops... I feel like a Carnage Worm is actually the way to go for one of these. I want a big, another one more big win condition. Um, and I th I'm leaning towards the Crown of Empires, so it's certainly not one of these Garrick's Companions. I don't think I want a second Harbor Serpent in the main. I might not even want the first Harbor Serpent in the main. Hmm. And Crown of Empires definitely comes in. Let's do it this way. This card seems good here. I think I can keep the bear out unless they're very aggressive, because that's just not what I'm trying to do here. 
Um, by that same token, I can take Garrick's Companion out unless I'm really aggressive. I think, well, maybe not. She has Harbor Serpent or Negate at that point. Harbor Serpent is good with uh, Levitation. Um, negate might be better off in the sideboard, but it's almost guaranteed to have a, a target at some point in the game. I think I'll just bust out the 17th creature, though, and run it like that. Mm. I feel like I'm going to win up there. Might be just better off with the Garrick's Companion as like a defensive creature. Wow, this is tough. Um, what do we got? 9 8. I think I'm going to swap it for Llanowar Elves. 9 8. Yeah, it seems like the way to go. It makes Garrick's Companion a little awkward. At this point I only have two big threats and I do have a lot of ways of holding the fort and things to slow to slow them down. I feel like the Garrick's Companion is just awkward so I really think it's Harbor Serpent or Negate here. I'm kind of tempted by Negate but I think I'll go with the Foil Harbor Serpent actually. Out of left field he comes crashing in and I think Minus the added art value, that is the way we're going to go here. Let's see what we got. Two pieces of art value. Yeah, that one's the same. Obviously, I'm aware that this is technically incorrect, that you want to play all the same picture because it gives your opponent less information, but I play Magic to have fun. As you may have noticed. Um... I think one could potentially make the argument to play Call of the Grave, but I mean, definitely something to consider here is, uh, you know, you could like trade this package for this package. That actually changes the deck a lot. I mean, I think cutting Frost Titan is just silly, so let's not get that crazy. But you could cut maybe this package for that package that might actually be better just jam these dorks in there oh, man yeah I th think I'm gonna go with this one at first though this one just seems more exciting 